Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on comparing fractions on a number line. Number lines are excellent visual tools which can be used for comparing fractions. Now here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got six sections here. Now this number line is a very simple one. Basically, it starts at 0 to 1. So we're just looking at the interval from 0 to 1. That tells us that this is a whole number. This tells us that we've divided the interval into two halves. We've divided the interval into thirds and so on. Looking closely at the number lines to the left, we can easily compare some of the fractions contained on them. It is quite evident that a half is greater than a third. Now we saw this in the previous video when we are talking about the pizza, but have a look how it works here. A half goes from there to there, but a third only goes from there to there. So you can see that a half is greater than a third. So we saw this in the last video where we used the pizza to compare fractions. We can now be a little creative. Let's see how two thirds is greater than a half. Now two thirds is that interval there, so it represents those two parts. So there's two thirds up to here, but a half only goes up to there. So that's why two thirds is greater than a half. The next example, five sixths is less than seven eighths. Right, here are five sixths, one, two, three, four, five. So five sixths goes to there, seven eighths goes to there, and that's why five sixths are less than seven eighths. Now we're just looking at this visually, remember? We're looking at all this using a diagram. That helps us to understand the idea a little bit better. We can see from the above number lines that, now again, the number line is just works on the interval from 0 to 1. So we've got six different comparisons we're doing here. Let's look at the first one. 2 over 5 is less than a half. Now let's look at where 2 over 5 is. There's 1 over 5, 2 over 5. Can you see that 2 over 5 finishes there? But a half finishes here. Remember, that's the start. We always start from there. So 2 over 5 finishes there. A half finishes there. So 2 over 5 is less than a half. Number 2, 4 over 5 is greater than 3 quarters. Here's 4 over 5 here. See there? That's 3 quarters. So 4 over 5 is greater than 3 quarters. Number 3, 9 over 10 is greater than 7 over 8. Here is 9 over 10 here. And there is 7 over 8 there. So 9 over 10 is greater than than 7 over 8. Number 4, 11 over 12 is greater than 9 over 10. Here is 11 over 12 there. There is 9 over 10 or 9 tenths. So 11 twelfths is greater than 9 tenths. Next one, 4 ninths is greater than 2 fifths. Let's look at where 4 ninths are. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's 4 ninths. Now where's 2 fifths? Here. So 4 ninths is greater than 2 fifths. And finally, 5 sixths are greater than 4 fifths. Let's look at where 5 sixths are. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 5 sixths there. 
there's four fifths so five sixths are greater than four fifths so here we've seen how to use this number line which is divided into different parts to compare fractions <coughs> excuse me use the number lines to the left to answer true or false for each of the following let's see if this is true or false three eighths is greater than two fifths now let's see where three eighths is there's three eighths here there this is two fifths now you can just see the three eighths is actually less than two fifths so this is false so we write F for false seven tenths is less than four fifths let's see where seven tenths are one two three four five six seven so there's seven tenths now where's four fifths one two three sorry one two three four so there's four fifths there okay that's four fifths and here we have seven tenths so seven tenths which is there here is our four fifths seven tenths is less than four fifths that is true two thirds is greater than seven twelfths let's look at where two thirds are there that's two thirds let's look at where seven twelfths are one two three four five six seven so it says that two thirds are greater than seven twelfths there's two thirds there is seven twelfths so that is true five sixths is greater than four fifths let's look at where five sixths are one two three four five there's five sixths there let's look at where four fifths are one two three four so there's four fifths so you can see that five sixths is just greater than four fifths so that is true and finally three tenths is less than one third let's look at where three tenths are one two three which is there and where's one third there and if you take a line up you will see that three tenths finishes roughly about there so three tenths is less than one third and that is true so in this video we have used some visual information that is diagrams that you can see to help us compare fractions